it's Fergie Blog here. I've got a foundation featured for you. Yay! I have the new Pixie Beauty Balm foundation. I bought this at Target. I realized that it has been out since spring, but it is not in every Target. I It's been hard to find for me. So I've said before, I have a lot of Targets in like a 10 mile radius of where I live. I know I'm lucky. I know some of you don't. Um, you can get this on the Pixie website. Um, it's $22 and it is, I think, replacing the other foundation they've had. Um, this is considered a full, well, medium to full coverage. It's supposed to be a, it says high coverage foundation. It's 1.7 ounces. So when you think about foundation and that this is on the high end of drugstore being $22, it seems it is expensive, but you are getting significantly more. Uh, most foundations come in a one ounce container or less. So possibly it, it sort of ends out even, we'll see. The idea is that it has hydrating and moisturizing qualities, um, layer for full coverage or mix with moisturizer for a sheer effect. Medium to full coverage, keeps skin hydrated all day, contains ceramides, hyaluronic acid, adenosine, and chamomile extract. So I kind of like it, it uh, uh, in terms of all the capabilities. It's like, ooh, look at these possibilities. So if you see this on your shelf, know that, because the other tube I think was smaller and it had a I think it was, was it called BB cream? I'm trying to think of what the other foundations that Pixie has had. So um, I bought shade number two nude. There are six shades. It is not an exact match. It is a shade category kind of situation. So um, I am going to do half and half, half beauty blender, half brush, um, because this is, well, I don't use primer in my foundation featured videos anyway but it's a balm, so I feel like, well, it's supposed to be kind of like a moisturizer, so maybe this is kind of a all-in-one product, and um, it does not have SPF. So just keep that in mind. This is not like a BB cream with SPF or anything like that, so you do want to wear your SPF, which I am. I'm gonna get this hair out of my way. I do have eye makeup on, some eye makeup on, so I've kind of just tried to save time yeah, let's do Beauty Blender, and I've got this Morphe. I'm gonna be better, try to be better at explaining what brushes I'm using. This is E44. I like that if it does have fragrance mentioned in the uh, in the ingredient list, I can't really smell it. Just, I mean, barely. Ooh. I kinda wanna love this, you know? Maybe it's like the Fenty hydrating foundation without the fragrance. Fingers crossed, that would be fun, right? $22 is better than $35. I feel like it's doing better being spread out than bounced on which you know it's funny how some products just you just don't know you just don't know how it's gonna go I think this is a good color shade range for me definitely has a hydrating feel to it we like that there's still left I used two pumps so let's see I'm gonna need more for sure Two pumps isn't enough for the whole face. Although I do use a lot, I feel like. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. I'm kind of stippling it just to kind of spread it so that I can <laughs> save myself some time. And now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go. Okay, now I can smell the fragrance a little more. It, it smells, you know how kind of Estee Lauder, you know how 
just has that kind of makeup smell like without being industrial but just like a little bit of a lotion type fragrance where you're like oh that's just makeup that's not perfume or gingerbread or <laughs> flowers it's just <clears throat> So it blends quickly. I can't really tell a difference with brush versus sponge. Sometimes what I've been doing is when I apply my product this way, whether it's sponge, brush, um, I kind of like to go through with a clean either the beauty blender I use but with like a clean side and just like kind of bounce it over or even use a beauty blender or beauty sponge because I think this is uh this might even be a shop masse and I just kind of like to just sort of do that I feel like it kind of buffs it out kind of blots it it's not heavy it's not cakey it has um, some, like my skin is showing through, <clears throat> it's not terribly heavy. So in a way, some of you may like that. Some of you may go, nope, I need more coverage. In fact, let's see how it builds. What's the best way to build it? Let's try fingers. Ooh, that kind of works nicely, actually. That made like a nice layer where I'm seeing less redness and it seemed to buff out my pores. Okay. Now I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Works good with fingers. Ah, nature's first beauty tool. How we forget. Shade 15. What the hell? Oh. Another Morphe brush. E49. We'll give you a close-up. It's nice. It's like, <laughs> it is what it says. Okay, let's see if I don't kill it with powder. I'm gonna use my Flower Beauty. This has that kind of satin quality to it so I'll just do a light dusting and then that way right the Rachel loves Rachel loves palette we like this let's just do a little bit of bronzing and highlighting. I do love Pixie bronzers and highlighters. So good. You blend more makeup <laughs> and uh, my eyes, mascara, that kind of thing. And I will come back to give you a check-in before I spend my day wearing this and getting it through the ringer. And I'll be right back. Here I am. Okay guys, wow, I am really digging this foundation. I am. It is so natural, hydrating. Um, yeah. I don't, it didn't get killed by the powder. Like I feel like it's still fresh and dewy on my skin. Um, it responded well to the other products I put on top of it. Uh, I'm gonna guess that if it breaks down, I'm gonna see it in my pores. Yeah, that's that's my prediction. <laughs> but I was wrong, <laughs> I've been wrong, so we'll see. I mean, it looks nice right here, it looks smooth, it doesn't have kind of a texture or anything like that. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, this part looks really nice. 
um, it's covering my chin well. So if it doesn't go into my pores or get like too shiny, this is very good. All right. And because you're going to want to know on my lips is the Pixie. This is their, oh, it's the Chloe Morello. They don't have this. I don't think. Um, this is the lip icing and cake, but they have other shades like this. And so I put this over the NYX uh, lingerie push-up bedtime flirt. So it's a really good nude combo. <laughs> anyway, okay, so that is that. I will come back later on after dinner. You'll see me. I will not look as fresh. That is so far Thank you, Pixie Beauty Balm, for kind of awesome. There you go. See you later. That's pretty. You guys, it has been six hours, and I actually touched up my lip gloss <laughs> so that I wouldn't look terribly pathetic for you. Um, yeah, because I had a whole bunch of Doritos today, and then I got the Dorito dust on my lipstick from before, so I'm like, yeah, it's pretty. Okay, here is the makeup, and honestly, I really like it. I like it because it does what it says. It's, it's good coverage, it's hydrating. I don't think there's any ingredients in here that are problematic. Um, fragrance is in there, but it's at the very bottom of the list, and uh, as far as I can tell, it's very slight, so that's good. I hope, you know, sometimes that can bother me, but we'll, we'll, we'll give it a pass this time. Um, you know, I think for long wear purposes, maybe a, a primer would help the keeping it wearing, uh, well, it didn't break down though. It has not broken down. I don't have pore dots. I don't have texture. Um, I have just that little bit of, you know, the redness that I always get when things wear around my nose. So I would probably touch that up if I was going out. Um, yeah, I would just do a little touch up, definitely some powder and then like some setting spray, you know, but it's nice. It, it, it still feels really nice. I feel like my face looks good. It feels good. So I really like it. Um, I'm impressed. And, you know, like I said, you get 21.7 ounce for $22. So kind of a good takeaway. I think if you have an oily skin, um, just proceed with, you know, it's definitely because of the hydration. I think it might, uh, I think it might slide off your face. Um, but I think primer and powder will help. Even in my case, primer and powder are a must just to set it just to kind of give it something but it's good it's good i'm i'm pleased i'm pleased okay cool thanks pixie hey i hope you enjoyed this foundation featured and i hope you are subscribed to my channel please do so if you haven't already tell your friends over 40 that you've got a youtuber on here who gives it to you the way you want it <laughs> Alrighty, folks, I will see you next time. Bye.